Replacing Windows 11 start menu. There's so many better options. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show. And uh, Windows 11 officially came out. And uh, like many other people, uh, I hate the start menu. I, it's, it, it's, it's crazy, but it's, you know, this, this thing in the middle and this, I mean, look at this, this ginormous amount of white space. <clears throat> that is generated by this once you clear everything out once they get all their garbage out of the way it's just a bunch of white space that is pointless meaningless and stupid and you cannot even like this recommended i can't even increase or decrease how many recommended things and i cannot like drag this down so it's smaller or not as wide or any of those things it's just this stuck stupid panel i mean you can do one the only thing that you can do is go to the little taskbar settings and we can come down here and say taskbar behavior and move it to the left so it's not wandering all over the screen. Um, so that's that's about all you can do, but all you still just get this big dumb panel. And even when you go to all apps, it's still, I mean, 80% white space over here? Really? Really, Microsoft? Is this the best that you can do? You're revamping a whole, you had tons of time to revamp this thing, to get it so it was, you know, beautiful and gorgeous and everything else, but you spent too much time rounding the stupid corners and creating this little wave image to actually do any work. So luckily, there's some other companies that are out here who have found things to do. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, Open Shell. Uh, this one is, uh, it's open source, it's a menu replacement. So we're going to click next, click next, create a start menu folder. Yes, we're just going to install. So we're going to do all these stuff from scratch. So you see what it takes to install it, how easy it is to get through these things. Okay, so finish. And then boom, open shell is installed. Now, I did find a problem with the open shell uh, settings. You go into open shell menu settings. In order to get it to work, you have to replace the start menu icon. So if you see down here I need to move this over just a little bit so you can see a little bit better okay so if I replace the start menu icon you see the little shell appear down in this bottom corner way down there if you don't then you get the regular start menu if you replace it with their icon then you get the uh, regular Windows 7 type menu whatever you select the classic two columns classic style or whatever you want okay so and this is very basic. Uh, Open Shell is very basic. It just came as a re replacement for people who just wanted probably the basic, super classic style of Windows menu. That was just this little pull up. So that's that's where that ended up. Um, and so it it gets you know it gets to be basic. It's got you know some items over here. You've got all your basic quick links here. Uh, that you want on the start and then you can go to all programs and see all of your apps um, so that's one um, like i said not a lot of you can customize what links are there uh, what the skin is some basic settings um, so not a lot but still it's free you're able to use it and get you a regular start menu okay let's go back into uh, here let's go to settings And we're going to uninstall this one. So we're going to go through the whole thing. We're going to install it, see how it works, everything else, and uninstall it. Okay, so let's go down to our open shell and uninstall. Uninstall. So that you can just show you can use these things cleanly. And be able, once you remove them, it goes back to the regular Windows 11. Start menu, which we have again. Boom, we're back to this ton of white space garbage that's there okay so next we're going to look at stardock this is a professional company who uh, produces great software for many years all the different things that stardock does many different thing pieces of software but one they do is a menu windows menu replacement so let's do a quick installation of this one okay pretty quick all these are pretty quick to install, download. This one is actually, you have to pay for it. I think it's $5. Um, so here we go. We've got this. It's going to say, I want a 30-day trial. 
and we're going to put in a an email address that I've already registered so here you can automatically asking you to pick where you want your start menu which is good so left align thank you uh, you can pick the Windows 7 style or compact Windows 7 style so that will get you any of those so that's the compact Windows 7 style you can pick a more modern style like that you can even pick if you liked the Windows 10 like I did I mean I really liked having Windows 10 with this little panel here with this links here I thought that was pretty good design um, and then have these items over here and you can expand and contract this menu so that it's you know smaller and can do just what you want if you only want a few icons here just to you know target get you to where you want to go boom it's right there so that is there for some reason it's not showing the little icon maybe it will at some point uh, start button you can oh we can choose the default we can choose the biohazard uh, it's not showing up for some reason maybe I might have to reboot to get this one to work after using having the other one so you can move it to the center you can move it to the side there we go now it's showing up correctly so we got the echo we've got the biohazard there we go that's good so taskbar we can do some things to the taskbar we can position start button in the center over there like that or over there change some different pieces of the taskbar to be medium or whatever change your start menu change the start button all those different things so you can go back to windows 11 style even uh, you can do the modern style windows 7 style and you can pick from several windows 7 styles a grid windows 7 style which is like that which is kind of nice uh, you can do a compact grid uh, which is also nice um, so you can do a couple different things you can really customize it how you really want it to look and make it effective for yourself okay so that's star doc uh, start 11 uh, I like it the one thing that is missing there's one thing in all all of these that is missing if you notice um, down here if I open up let's go to calculator let's open up uh, let's say we're gonna open up notepad minimize that and we're gonna open up another notepad and minimize that okay so now I've got two notepads here but I don't like that I like when the labels are shown so that I know what document I'm clicking on immediately so I have different virtual machines typically running on my system all the time and I want to be able to just click that I want to click that virtual machine have it brought up I've got enough taskbar space across these two you know 23 inch monitors that I can see what I want I don't have so many apps running constantly that you know I don't I there isn't enough space to show it all right I can see all everything that I want with the labels shown so in order to get that there's another program called it used to be start it now but now it's called start all now or start all back it used to be start it back now start all back so let's go down here we need to uninstall our start 11 from star doc we'll uninstall that uninstall so you can see these are pretty easy to switch to so if you wanted to try one and you know just see how it works i'm going to remove all settings so the only one that i really had kind of a problem with was um the open source one open shell setup because the little menu icon didn't show up all the time and um okay now the last one i'm going to go over here is called start all back it used to be called start it back but um now where it's called start all back because it has more than just start settings so here we go flip around and the start menu comes up and you can pick what style you want there's an update to it uh, but we're not going to deal with that right now so there's proper 11 kind of 10 or remastered 7 so you can pick any one of those if we go to kind of 10 then that changes kind of the taskbar gets a little grayer proper 11 makes it more transparent but here we have a regular kind of windows menu which i like okay so the start menu you can say you can customize several different things 
like if I want uh, a Windows Terminal link, so I can always have Windows Terminal there. So when I click here, Windows Terminal is always right here, and I can just click it, and then boom, we get Windows Terminal up and running. So uh, the one thing that I really like about this is it has the labels here. So I can say never hide labels. So makes that so that if I'm loading several documents, like I can load a notepad and I can load another notepad, and these are two different documents, like I can go save doc one, then I know that's document one file, save doc two, I know that's document two. So if they're minimized, if I minimize them, then it's like, oh, that information's in document one. Boom, I know to click document one. I don't have to go, okay, hover over, you know, like when it's never always hide labels, then you gotta hover over here, then you gotta pick which one it is and, and then go to that. So uh, I always have it never hide. And that you can only do with start all back. Um, so that's, that really, really kind of sells it for me to move to this, this menu for Windows 11. So is the start all back. So until Windows 11 decides, to uh, actually get its active gear and give us an actually menu that's not, you know, 80% wasted white space uh, or the ability to adjust and edit and, and be able to change that, then it really isn't worth, you know, spending the time to get, you know, to do anything with the Windows 11 menu. I mean, even the proper Windows 11 is much better than uh, anything here. That Windows 11 actually has in this one so you can go way back to the remastered Windows 7 because that makes everything kind of crazy with the big Windows 7 logo and and all this and your icon up here and everything so that's that's you know it's pretty good is it's something you're familiar with at least and it worked right it worked you can search for programs you know like I want notepad I just type note and then boom there's notepad and that comes right you know all those different things are still there. But if you want the rounded fanciness of Windows 11, then boom, you can do that there. Anyway, so, so those are three programs that you can use to alter your uh, Windows start menu. The one uh, is uh, open shell setup. That's free, it's open source. Uh, it's been around for a long time. Um, then there's start 11. I believe that one's five bucks. Uh, then uh, the start Start all back. Uh, how much is that one? So advanced about. So buy. So start eleven. Start is back. Is also five dollars. So they're all pretty cheap. Uh, two uh, licenses for start all back is uh, eight ninety nine. So you get a little discount if you're buying more than one one copy. So there you go. All right. Not sponsored by any of these. I just find them. I know people are going to be asking about them. And uh, there you go. Those are three programs that you use to replace the horrible, horrible Windows 11 start menu. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.